Okay, with me, Surya Kumar Yadav. You're going to remember that catch for till the time you're going to watch cricket uh, again and again. That highlight will be played, and I'm going to talk to him about that as well. But before that, I'm going to talk to you about the victory. You have won IPL titles. You've been part of other victories. Is this the greatest day, 29th of June, the greatest day in your cricketing career? अभी तो इस डेट का और वो ट्रॉफी का टैटू करने वाला हूँ मैं हाथ में आई हैव प्लान्ड इट बिकॉज आई हैड प्लान्ड इट बिफोर आल्सो 2023 इट डेंट हैपन बट दिस टाइम वी क्रॉस द लाइन एंड डेफिनेटली अ लवली मोमेंट 29 जून 2024 इट्स माय सिस्टर्स बर्थडे एस वेल Perfect birthday gift for her, and also a day to remember for a long. I can't believe you mentioned the tattoo because that was exactly my next question. But I'll change the question. Okay. Where is the spot to do a tattoo? There is no spot left. <laughs> there, there is a little bit of uh, space yeah, left chest. close to my heart because uh -huh. this is definitely close to my heart, and uh -huh. uh, it will be remembered for a very long time. So yeah, maybe somewhere. Have you thought what the tattoo is going to be about? Because I know it takes a lot of time to come with a creative idea. I've got some time. I'll think Achha. about it and definitely will be posted on social media. Okay, yeah. we'll we'll wait for that. Maybe we'll wait for the picture to be put on social right. media. Okay, let's get to the uh, game now. Your catch. Uh, many are calling it the turning point of the game. At that moment, uh, you know, you you you're going for the catch. What is going through your mind? That can it sail over? Then you say no, it's coming to me. How do I keep my balance? I just want to know things going in your head. Abhi, it's very easy to say, but it felt like a trophy is crossing the boundary line and going to the other side. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, in that moment, you don't think that the ball will cross the boundary line; it will go for a six. Whatever it was in my control, I tried it, and uh, uh, wind, all wind also was a good factor at that moment. It helped me a little bit with with the body language, and we have we have done a lot of practice sessions with our fielding coach, and it, we have done a lot of taken a lot of catches like this. So when it comes to a game. Uh, we have our presence of mind that is very important during taking this catch okay now i will tell you i don't know how many nails you have left in your hand but i have finished all because i was chewing them different stages of the mat looked like the match was going away when it was batting you know 34 for 3 i thought it's gone then when they're chasing 30 needed of 30 i thought it's gone then it's 26 of 24 different times that i thought the the game is gone you know khatam tata bye bye i thought that i want to know from you at any point self doubts it's gone or game is done let's wait for it or do you always think you're in the game uh see this i i feel this is a very funny game huh? and uh, it's a fantastic level the the game is not finished till the last ball is bowled and it was if if i may not lie ha huh. at some moment we felt that there's a there's a gap uh, between our victory and and their win but but back of the mind you you remind yourself the, all the hard work you've put in in the last two months and last two years post 2022 world t20 world cup all that was running in that in my mind in the last uh, last 5 6 overs of the game mm -hmm. and i only knew that we had uh, bumrah's two overs and ashdeep's yeah. one over left so and they were in top of their form i mean the way they have been bowling in this world cup so i had a belief that these two guys can turn the game turn the tide towards india and that's what happened and very happy for both of them okay i'm going to talk to you about uh, your batting per se this tournament we all know about surya kumar is the dasher he'll go 150 180 190 strike rate but this tournament a few innings that you've played tough situation where you really need to grind it out was that also something that you wanted to prove or send a message out that this surya kumar yadav cuz i know you played a lot of ranji trophy you've captained mumbai in ranji trophy a lot of people don't remember that did you want to let everyone know that there are different gears that you can operate in i mean obviously uh, this format you have to you have to bat like uh, like how the format goes like how the game goes but at some point uh, you have to keep your game behind Mm. and uh, i if i may say i have to put my ego behind and put yeah. the team ahead and that's what that's what i did at few moments like for example a game against usa yeah. uh, then also a game against uh, england in the semi finals where rohit was going uh, uh, all guns and then i had to then against australia when rohit was batting beautifully so there were a few instances where i felt i had to take a step back and see what team my team needs at that moment and bat accordingly and same thing i did and where i felt that uh, we need to bat with the tempo i just press the accelerator hard 
Last few questions. Uh, I want to know from you, when I'm watching from the outside, I'm seeing Klaassen in the form that he is. Murderous. You as a batter, what are you thinking? What are you doing with this? And you're like, you just sit and admire. What, what is going through your mind when you're seeing an opposition batter bat like that? Very difficult. I mean, the way they were batting after every wicket, they were trying to take the game away from us hmm. uh, and uh, bat with one tempo only. And uh, I feel... Uh, He's he's one of the I mean most destructive T20 batsmen. Is there I jealousy? Seen. I want to know, like because some shots he may be jealous of you. Sometimes are you <laughs> feeling jealous of how he's playing? Not really. I <laughs> mean, see, for example, I can't I can't bat like him, <laughs> and he can't bat like me. So everyone has equal strengths okay. and weaknesses. So they bat uh, the way they felt, and we batted the way we batted, and I'm very happy to be on the winning side today. Okay, I'm going to talk about Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma. Both have announced their retirement from T20. I, firstly, I want to know, as a member of the team, were you surprised, shocked, or you knew that if we win the title, this is coming? What? Uh, before the tournament, I I was getting that feeling. Uh, I mean that there is something around the corner which is not going to be making everyone happy. Yeah. Uh, but but the way this tournament has ended. Uh, on a high for both of them, the way they have played this tournament, uh, I am very happy for both of them, and uh, I'm sure uh, there's still two formats left. The way yes. the way they have been uh, playing the different brand of cricket right now, hopefully they achieve even more uh, than this this T20 World Cup. And uh, but but very happy with the way uh, they carried themselves. They took care of each and every member of the squad, mm. not only the players but also the support staff and everyone. Uh, it it felt it felt like home. Okay, last two questions. What will you miss the most about Rohit Sharma, the captain in T20I? You've played under him so much, even in the I. It's it's very difficult to mention one quality uh, because I've played with him in in franchise cricket as well and for India in bilateral series. Uh, I think the way uh, the way he carries himself uh, on the ground, off the field. I think taking care of each and every player when the player is down. Uh, that is that is the best quality about him. I mean, I said it's very difficult. It it will take hours and hours to describe about him and we are by both of them. But uh, Rohit has been an elder brother to everyone, and and a great uh, great sportsman. That was my question about Virat. What will you miss about Virat Kohli, the T20I batter? You've played alongside him. You've shared partnership. My God, unbelievable amount of energy, experience, uh, and. Uh, I think every, everything comes comes under that unbelievable amount of energy, irrespective of whatever has happened in the game. I mean, if you see, uh, before this game, uh, it wasn't going the way he wanted, but his energy on the ground when he was fielding, taking everyone together going forward, it was completely different. So that's something which we which we need to learn uh, going forward. And uh, I wish him all the best for other two uh, two formats. All right, we wish you all the very best. But Surya Kumar Yadav, thank you so much for speaking to India today. Thank you so much. May sky be the limit for you. <laughs> thank you so much. Video pasand aaya, to hume like, comment, share, aur subscribe zaroor karein.